Hey guys, this is Maximilian Anderson and welcome to the first lesson of this series. We'll start off by learning two simple accent patterns that will serve as the base throughout the series and you can expect the difficulty level to raise with each lesson. Alright, so for the first pattern we're going to accent the downbeat of 1, the end of 2 and the downbeat of 4. We're going to play all the 16th notes, so make sure the accents really pop out and you keep the ghost notes low. This is the first pattern. 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the 4 E and the 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the 4 E and the. For the second pattern, we're going to accent the downbeat of 1, the end of 2, the E of 4, and the uh of 4. So the following pattern 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the 4 E and the 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the 4 E and the 1. The next step is to accent every note that follows another accent. So if we're accenting the downbeat of 1, the E of 1 will also be accented. So if we take the first pattern as an example, it will be like this. 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the 4 E and the 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the 4 E and the 1. And the second pattern will be like this. 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the 4 E and the 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the 4 E and the 1. Alright, so once you got all of that down, the next step is to play a paradiddle on the 4th beat. That way you switch everything around and you play everything as left hand lead too. So if we take the first pattern as an example, it will be like this. 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the paradiddle 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the paradiddle 1. If we do that with the second accent, it's going to be like this. 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the Paradiddle one E and the two E and the three E and the paradiddle one. All right, and for the second accent pattern, it's gonna be like this: one E and the two E and the three E and the paradiddle one E and the two E and the three E and the paradiddle one. And if you do those with the second accent, it's gonna be like this. 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the paradiddle 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the paradiddle 1. Alright, that's it for the introduction to the patterns and the first exercises. Make sure you can play the patterns repeatedly and try to focus on popping the accents and keeping the ghost notes low rather than speeding up and playing it fast. So the reason why you might want to learn this pattern is because it's not only a very common so-called dotted quarter dotted quarter quarter pattern, it's also going to help in the future when we add things such as double paradiddles and flams to everything. To have a good solid base, it's going to make it very much easier for you. So I hope you practice and I hope to see you next week. Thank you so much.